Why do you need a dopamine detox right now? Why do certain people, relationship or habit have such a hold on us? When they are gone, we feel like it's the end of the world. There was a point in my life where I felt as if the world was ending and I had lost everything. But trying out dopamine detox is what saved me. Before we get into the details about what a dopamine detox is or how it works, I want to start off by telling you a little about the hormone. For those who wonder what dopamine is, it's a neurotransmitter that provides a reinforcement for enjoyable activities and motivation for rewards. It also helps for habits. For example, when you eat something delicious like a good chocolate cake, your brain releases dopamine as an encouragement to keep doing what you're doing. In other words, dopamine makes context-dependent memories, which tell your brain to remember what caused the feeling and where it happened. The brain reward system reacts to dopamine, which is released in anticipation of a pleasurable behavior. For example, if you always smoke a cigarette at the pub, your brain will begin releasing feel-good chemicals as soon as you enter that environment, and even before you lie up. This is how powerful the dopamine is. It's also important to remember that dopamine is also key in developing healthy habits like workout, reading, practicing yoga, and other activities people do for fun. Dopamine isn't just about pleasure though, it plays a role in motivation and learning based on rewards. This brings us to the question, what exactly is dopamine detox and why do we need it? Dopamine fasting is a type of detox that does not require any specific diet. However, there will be a change to doing your daily routine. The purpose of dopamine fasting is to help to regulate the production of dopamine hormones. Dopamine fasting can start with only a few hours and gradually extend to weeks or months. The dopamine hormone is responsible for emotion like happiness and pleasure. This isn't an issue unless the activities that trigger this emotion become an addiction. Unfortunately, a lot of humans are weak. They think that because they like something, they have to do it, do it, do it, and they do it until they become addicted. When you repeatedly engage in an activity because it brings you joy, it becomes an addiction. The addicting cycle begins with the urge to do happy activities and gradually increase as your satisfaction and anticipation also grow. Let me give you an example. Someone who may become addicted to scrolling Instagram just looking at random pictures and reels, not even considering how much time they are wasting on it. It's true, when you have an addiction, you are spending so much time there, you don't even realize how much time you're losing. If you're addicted, it's time to get help and break the free from your addiction. Dopamine detox is an amazing way to break unhealthy habits and keep your dopamine production under control. So now, the question is, how exactly do the dopamine detox works? This can be achieved by following these steps that I'm gonna tell you right now. It's extremely important to identify any addiction that you have. It can be scrolling through TikTok or excessive use of Instagram. Only then can restriction and moderation become possible. Once you find your addiction, aim to calculate how much time is spent on it. If the daily total exceeds six hours, work on gradually reducing that amount. You can't go from selling six hours a day to zero hours a day. It's not gonna work out. Go from six hours to five hours, from five hours to four hours. It's a long-term work. We wanna have long-term results. While it's essential to focus on work during business hours, give your leisure time attention as well. Try not to think about work when you're relaxing and reserve at least some of your free time for other pursuits like reading or going out for a walk. Unfortunately, a lot of people think work, work, work. You need to relax in order to not burn out. If possible, increase the amount of time you spend focusing on activities outside of work. Checking in with yourself regularly will help you to shift your focus appropriately. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the dopamine detox is a difficult task that requires both mental and physical strength. Remember to keep track of your progress using a journal or similar method, as it will help you to stay motivated and on the track. It's true, when you see result and your evolution on the paper, trust me, it's gonna have a way bigger and better impact on your term regarding your motivation. So now, you must be wondering, does a dopamine detox actually work? A person attending to a dopamine detox should know that they will likely feel a range of symptoms associated to it. It's crucial to understand that a complete dopamine detox in which the brain projection of all dopamine is stopped can sometimes cause some stress. Why? The answer is pretty simple. When you are used to something, to get something, you're not getting it, you feel stress. The same thing with a cigarette. You get your cigarette, okay? It releases dopamine. You don't hide, you feel stress. Oh, something missing, what's going on? And you get stressed. But don't worry, this is normal. I realized that I already had accomplished at such a young age what people spend their whole lives trying to achieve. 
that's when I decided to go on a dopamine detox. I wanted to have a hard reset in my life and this seemed like to be the best way to do it. To be honest again with you guys, on your 24, you already made over $20 million. You have all the cars you ever dreamed about, all the watches you dreamed about. You need a hard reset to keep your mental health normal. For my dopamine detox, I first attempt to break my phone addiction and I also limited my screen time and stopped using all social media and YouTube for entertainment. Furthermore, I cut adult films out of my life because they give you a false sense of satisfaction. In addition to breaking your addictive habits, it's important to meditate at least for 10 minutes every day. That's something that helped me a lot. Meditation is a big topic. In case you want to learn more about meditation, tell me in the comments. Now I want to bring to your notice six behaviors that stem from excessive dopamine. The first one is emotional eating. Emotional eating often happens as a reaction to feelings like tension, anger, anxiety, boredom, or loneliness. These negative emotions are said to be the main driving force behind emotional eating. People who emotionally eat tend to release more dopamine than those who don't. So what is dopamine fasting? It's described as a method of managing addictive behaviors that include emotional eating, too much internet use, gambling, porn addiction, or drug misuse. Much like drugs, internet addiction such as games or talking online stimulates the brain to produce dopamine, making the user temporarily happy. And you know what's funny? Is that studies show that playing video and smartphone games cause a greater release of dopamine than any other activities. Gambling and shopping, this is another one. Dopamine is the first feel-good hormone that the brain produces when we are succeeding. For example, dopamine levels surge when we gamble and win. However, with a repeated exposure to winning experience, our brain becomes used to high dopaminergic neurotransmission. In other words, if we bet frequently, we may build up a strong tolerance to gambling feels good effect. And that's dangerous because let's be honest with you, if you take the percentage or even in general, nobody became a millionaire thanks to casino. Become you become addicted, this game is made to make you lose money, not for you to win. Additionally, our brain releases dopamine and endorphin, which is another type of feel-good chemical. For example, whenever we purchase stink, we have endorphin, which is why some people become compulsive shoppers. The quick gratification trigger by finding a great deal can lead people down a dangerous path of excessive spendings. Thrill and novelty seeking. Anything that would cause a dopamine release should be avoided during the detox. You should take a break of everything. This means Avoiding anything that would make you feel excited or pleasurable. During the detox, you should focus on feeling more grounded and balanced. Recreational drugs. Drugs such as cocaine, alcohol, nicotine, or whatever, increase the amount of dopamine released by the neurons in the brain. So also, you should avoid them. Dopamine detox helps you to refrain from partaking in harmful habits. When the desire to detox comes about, do something positive like playing sport or reading a new book. Furthermore, dopamine detox creates an emotion stabilizing environment that supports leading a healthy lifestyle. So, what are you waiting for? Start your dopamine detox right now, today. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel in order to not miss any incoming videos.